Okay. So it says a laboratory test for the detec detection of a certain disease gives a positive result 5% of the time for people who do not have the disease. The test gives a negative result 0.3% of the time for people who have the disease. Large scale studies have shown that the disease occurs in about 2% of the population. What is the probability that a person selected at random would test positive for this disease? Okay, so there are actually a few different ways to do this problem. I think the tree is the easiest though. And mm -hmm. if you look at the problem and they give you conditional probabilities, that's a key hint to use a tree. And I can tell that these are conditional probabilities because it says basically for people who do not have the disease, the test gives a positive result 5% of the time. So that's a conditional probability, right? Given that they do not have the disease, the probability they get a positive result is 5%. And then this is also a conditional probability here, right? It's saying basically given that someone has the disease, the probability they get a negative result is 0.3%. Mm -hmm. so those are conditional probabilities. And in a tree, what we're going to do is start out here we have just a bunch of people and the possibilities are they can either have the disease or not have the disease so disease or no disease and then they could either get a positive test or a negative test. And, you know, uh, one thing is it might be unclear, like why I'm putting disease first and then test second, right? You might want to put test and no or uh, positive test and negative test here and then disease and no disease here but the key thing is the conditional probabilities those go on the second level of the tree right mm -hmm. so the first level those are just going to be the standard probabilities it tells me that the disease occurs in about two percent of the population so that's not a conditional probability it did not give me a condition there that's why I'm putting disease and no disease first, and then I'm putting the conditional probabilities on the second level of the tree. Okay. All right, so the probability that someone has the disease is 2%. So as a decimal, that's 0 0.02. And then if there's a probability that they have the, the probability that they have the disease, if that's 0 0.02, then the probability that they do not have the disease is 0.98 or, or 1 minus 0 0.02 mm -hmm. and then we can look at the second level of the tree so it tells me the test gives a positive result five percent of the time for the people who do not have disease so i'm looking at this part of the tree the people mm -hmm. who do not have disease and they get a positive result five percent of the time so here for positive result we're going to have 0 0.05 and if they get a positive test 5% of the time, they get a negative test 95% of the time. One minus 0.05 is 0 0.95. Mm -hmm. And then for the people who have the disease, it says the test result, or the test gives a negative result 0.3% of the time for people who have the disease. So now we're looking at these people. So it gives a negative test result 0.3% of the time, 0.3% is a decimal, it's 0 0.003. And then one minus 0 0.003 is 0.997. So that's the probability that someone who has the disease gets a positive test. Okay, so that's the tree. And what they're asking for here is what is the probability that a person selected at random would test positive for the disease? So we're just looking at people who would test positive. And before you do that, it can be helpful to calculate basically all these and probabilities out here. 
And what I mean is the probability that someone has the disease and gets a positive test, the probability that someone has the disease and gets a negative test. So let's try that. Um, I'm just going to use some abbreviations here. So I'm going to say, so let's say, let D equal the event that someone has the disease. And then let T equal the event that someone gets a positive test result. Positive test. Okay. So then what I can do here is calculate these and probabilities by multiplying along the branches of the tree. So the probability that someone has the disease and gets a positive test, this is the symbol for and, um, it's the intersection symbol, and that's going to be these two probabilities multiplied together. So 0 0.02 times 0.997. And then the probability that someone has the disease and gets a negative test. So we could represent negative test with T. And then this subscript here means complement. So basically the complement of T is the opposite of T. The mm -hmm. opposite of a positive test is a negative test. But that's how we can write it. So 0 0.02 times 0 0.003. And similarly here, we would write uh, no disease as D with a little c, because that's the complement of D. The complement that someone has the disease is that they do not have the disease. And then and positive, so 0.98 times 0.05. And then the probability of no disease and a negative test is 0.98 times 0.95. Okay. So then we can calculate all those. So we have 0.02 times 0.997. So 0.01994. 0.02 times 0 0.003. So this is 6 times 10 to the negative fifth. So that's the same thing as 0 0.00006. So four zeros. And then here we have 0 0.98 times 0 0.05. So 0 0.049. And then 0 0.98 times 0 0.95. 0 0.95. Nine, three, one. Okay. So then we're looking for the probability that someone would test positive for the disease. So it's the probability of T. So to find that, if someone tests positive, there are two possibilities. They could either have the disease or they could not have the disease. And these are the two probabilities that include those two possibilities, right? This is them having the disease. This is them not having the disease. So mm -hmm. to find the probability that they get a positive test, we could add those two probabilities because it's really an or. They either have the disease or they don't. Mm -hmm. So we can add those two probabilities. Okay, and also notice on the tree, those are from the branches ending with positive tests. So that's why we're adding these two probabilities, so 0 0.01994 plus 0 0.049. So 0 0.01994 plus 0 0.049. There we go, 0 0.06894. So that's the probability of a positive test. Okay, and then we can look at part B. 
So part B says, what is the probability that a person selected at random who tests positive for the disease does not have the disease? So this is a conditional probability. The condition here is that the person tested positive for the disease, right? So given that they tested positive for the disease, what's the probability that they do not have the disease? Mm -hmm. So we could write that as do not have the disease. That's this, the complement of having the disease, given that they tested positive. So that's the probability that we're looking for, the probability that they do not have disease given that they had a positive test. So to find this probability, you could use your formula sheet. There's a convenient formula for the conditional probability, right? So this formula here, we can basically apply that. So the probability of a complement of D given T is the probability of a complement of D and T given by the probability, or sorry, divided by the probability of T. Okay, so that's how we can calculate that conditional probability. And I have this information, this, this numerator from the tree. What I found was the probability of complement of D and T, that's this probability right here, 0 0.049. So we have 0 0.049 in the numerator, and then this is just from part A, so 0 0.06894. Okay, so 0 0.049, and I already have 0 0.06894 in the calculator. So there we go, 0.71. 8. So that's the probability that someone who tests positive does not actually have the disease. And the other way to think about this is here we're looking at people who tested positive for the disease. So basically these two parts of the tree. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then of those, the one who do the ones who do not have the disease, that's actually this second one here. So that's why that's in our numerator. So 0 0.049 over the sum of these two probabilities, 0 0.049 over 0 0.06894. And when you think about that, that's kind of a high probability. So basically, if you get tested positive for the disease, it's actually more likely that you do not have the disease than you do, which is kind of interesting. Okay.